Welcome to another podcast of the current situation, Manchester United. Hope you guys enjoyed the Wednesday so far. It's uh, it's obviously night, as you can see. Um, Manchester United is going to be hosted by Crystal Palace tomorrow. Um, it's one of those games because I think last game was a re- reality check for Manchester United. A lot, a lot of us, particularly me, of course, was an about Dwagonist uh, train that thought, you know, we could, we could bamboo, we could, uh, we could knock Southampton out of the park because for we were at home and we had the better players, we had the better midfield. But as it relates to um, one of my boys was seeing on his channel for the funds, again, I will link his channel in the description below. Um, he, he's more articulate than me when, whenever speaking of football matters. And he was saying, because I was criticized, not me, but he was somewhat criticizing Ole for that performance, particularly defensively. And he said that Ole didn't have a solution to defend against Southampton's press, which is true. I would wholeheartedly agree with that. And my thing is that Ole needs to have a solution towards a press. If you're going to play a if you're a press inside, it's best if you play Daniel James. Start so Daniel James because whenever the side is pressing you, you need to play the ball over the top so that Daniel James can go run in behind and the strikers with Rashford and Martial can make a goal. So I think that is how United under Ole needs to play against pressing sides. So again, bro, you were on point when you when you were talking about uh, Ole's criticism playing against pressing teams and not coaching the boys properly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You 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 you, 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 you explain yourself very eloquently in that manner. As it relates to Crystal Palace tomorrow. Um, it's one of those games, bro. It's one of those games where we cannot be, we cannot say, you know, what we're going to knock Crystal out of, Crystal Palace out of the park because we're the better side. Or you know what? This game might be one of those games where we might draw. I think it's in the middle. In the middle, I think Crystal Palace is going to score, and Manchester United is going to definitely score. But Crystal Palace. Is not a side that we should take slightly. I think Southampton brought us back down to earth. Um, so my thing is that Manchester United will beat Crystal Palace tomorrow, but it won't be in a fashion model type of style. I think it will be in more of a Mourinho type of. Um, again, I could be wrong, but that's my thoughts. Um, yeah. So I think Crystal Palace might have a toss, toss um, against Manchester United tomorrow. Another thing, Wambisaka will be playing against his old club tomorrow. Um, well, for one, he won't be getting any um, prizes, but maybe surprises tomorrow because for one, there won't, there won't be any fans tomorrow to welcome him back to be uh, like the father of the prodigal, so I don't say. You're you're back home, welcome back, my son. Um, so yeah, Manchester United going back to Manchester United. Manchester United, I believe, will be Crystal Palace two one. My starting eleven is David De Gea. The boy coming back home, Wan Bissaka. I want Eric Bay to start tomorrow because as seen in previous games against Crystal Palace. Victor Lindelof struggles against a target man. Particularly when Christian Benteke starts, he really struggles against a target man. So, I mean, a lot can happen during that time and now. But if you are speaking from history and and so forth and so forth, I don't think Lindelof is that good in the year. So, again, my preference is that Bay starts tomorrow because they will play long to Benteke tomorrow. They will. But I believe Ole will start Victor Lindelof tomorrow. So let's just go with Victor Lindelof out of all skins tomorrow. 
So yeah, he will start tomorrow with Harry Maguire. Tomorrow's captain. Um, as as it relates to Luke, uh, left back, Brandon Williams might play. He's been in training ever since his uh, his head concussion. So yeah, that boy is a warrior, but I don't think he'll be starting tomorrow. Um, if anything, I would say Luke Shaw. Yeah, Luke Shaw. Um, in midfield. I mean, it's getting predictable, isn't it? Um, Matic, Pogba, Bruno Fernandes, and up front, Martial, Rashford, and um, I think Daniel James will start tomorrow. We'll get a game tomorrow. Um, yeah, so that's my <clears throat> prediction. But you know, guys, you guys know what it is already. So leave your comments down below in the comment section and who you believe will start for Manchester United. Your score predictions. Whether it's a win for Crystal Palace or it's a win for Manchester United. Leave your comments on below in the comment section. Okay, so that is my brief preview for United's game. I'll show it to you guys after the game. Peace.